Hey guys, this time I want to talk a little bit about these uh, boards that are on regular hard drives. They call them logic boards. And uh, you get, like this one, there's gold pins in here. And uh, actually these little jumpers that they put in there, they have gold in them too kind of hard to get to but anyway the pins have gold in them here these uh, oh, computer chips have gold in them and these you know, these are uh, tantalum capacitor you know These are monolithic ceramic capacitors. And they have silver, palladium, and I think there's a trace of copper, and probably some tin in there. It's supposed to be about 20% silver and three or 4% palladium. So there's not a whole lot in there. You get a bunch of them together. And I've got some other videos out on how to uh, melt all that down. I usually incinerate it, grind it up, and then melt it all down and see what I can get out of it. And there is some other things on here. These, uh, these are tantalum capacitors. They are some kind of rare earth. I haven't found any place, you know, that's buying them or anything like that. They may be on eBay or something like that. I collect them. Eh, I've got a few. But one of these days I might find a useful one. If you've got any ideas out there, let me know. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, anyway, see, all these pins are gold plated. And these are plated right on the ends. I can, you can see the, the silver there. Well, it was plated from about there up to the, you know, on these ends. And some of them, the more expensive ones, they go plated all the way down. And you can see all the pins in there. And one way I found to get them out is to take this, to scratch all, and you can pull it right out. That's the, the pin. And that one's going to go in my uh, rock tumbler. And the rock tumbler will actually scrape all the gold off the outside because it's plated. It'll scrape the gold off and I'll have more gold. These you can take off with a, a wood chisel. Max. Of course, these don't always come out real good with this. Sometimes on ones like this, you can get the top row out, then the bottom row is almost impossible to get out with this thing. So take a chisel and put it right there. Right alongside those. <coughs> now you can get a hold of those, pull them out. And as you can see, there's a tantalum capacitor here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, monolithic ceramic capacitors. Some of those are real tiny. And some of them fairly good size. So, there's another one of those.
There's some of these close up. You see the tantalum capacitors, kind of a flesh tone. The uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors. Uh, you see some. Some in here that are larger than this one. Got some here that are a little bit larger over here, and they're scattered all over these boards. See them there? And you can see the, the gold pins. I don't know if this light reflection is going to let you see the gold actually or not. These are all the way, all the way down to here. The gold and the gold ends. The uh, computer chips, they come off fairly easy. One of the reasons I like this carpet on this thing. Put it up against the board there. No wonder this chant the chisel's like a butter knife. It needs to be sharp. Anyway, I'll sharpen it up, maybe take some of those off on another video. And uh, I've got this special one. This one's sharp. But they use this for these small capacitors and stuff. And all you have to do is twist a little bit and it comes right off. And let's see. Some of these larger ones. Just twist. monolithic ceramic capacitor and a tantalum. So that will go in my things to be processed. And if you would, subscribe, like the channel, comment below. If you have any idea where to, what to do with these uh, tantalum capacitors, let me know. Uh, see you next time.